and in what is being called the child care crisis. One of the biggest issues businesses are seeing is retaining and replacing employees. With 46 daycares in the region, there's not a shortage of career opportunities in the field, but much like other industries, the pandemic caused layoffs that now need to be filled after the companies needed to shed payroll in order to keep their doors open. And while the cost of childcare is a struggle for parents, Seven Rivers Alliance CEO Chris Hardy says that the issue filling open positions comes down to basic economics. It very simply becomes a, a monetary issue uh, when the average wage of, of child care workers is averaging that 11 to $12 an hour range. When you stack that up against many other companies that are offering wages much higher than that, including benefits, it becomes a real difficult choice for families of people who work in child care to simply say, I can't afford to keep working in child care because I need to make more money. Hardy is also asking community members to thank child care workers, saying it could work as a morale boost in helping put an end to that crisis.